Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the 17th in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be building the Depth Sand Pusher, uh, but if you're looking for another part of the strategy in action, a link to the other videos in the series can be found in the description. Uh, in the previous video, uh, I built out and operated the breadth sand pusher that resulted in this layer of sand all, all over the section of the cover here. Uh, I did uh, tear it down uh, very carefully, uh, and the reason why I tear them down, uh, tear these machines down carefully, is because I don't have uh, any other redstone components besides what you see in my hotbar there. Uh, so if I lose any, I'm going to have to go mining for more. Uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, break some redstone and have it uh, fall down one of these uh, holes here. Uh, so I'm, I am tearing, I'm taking a little bit more time tearing down these machines, making I do, and making sure that I do it in a way that uh, I'm not going to lose any items. Uh, I, maybe I'll lose some, uh, some of the wood planks, the, you know, these basic building blocks, but uh, those I don't really care about. I have plenty of those. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and build the uh, depth sand pusher. Um, the breadth sand pusher is responsible for building out this uh, this temporary sand retaining wall over here, uh, as well as um, uh, filling all the holes of this section. Uh, and now what I want to do with the depth sand pusher is I want to build a kind of a thick wall here, four blocks thick. Uh, and the reason why I want uh, all that uh, all that sand piled up here. Uh, is because uh, underneath the uh, on the side of the ocean monument the um, the floor of the ocean can be uh, significantly deeper uh, and the additional sand that I'm piling here is going to fill the ocean on the sides of the ocean monument uh, to make it at least level with the ocean monument um, so that I have a, a nice um, area around the ocean monument um, uh, that I can use kind of a path around it or whatever um, but I want to make sure that I'm filling that terrain up to the level of the ocean monument, and that's why I'm uh, putting all these uh, putting all this sand here. Uh, now the uh, the magic number is uh, 32. That was my estimated maximum ocean depth, uh, and that is going that is uh, what determines the height of the uh, of the depth sand pusher, and that's because um, uh, I uh, uh, that that number determines how many blocks high I want this wall to be. Uh, my estimated uh, uh, maximum ocean depth was 32 blocks. Uh, uh, 32 minus 23 is 9 blocks, so I'm estimating I would need to have 9 blocks of sand uh, from the ocean floor up to make it level with the ocean monument. So I, I want this wall to be 9 blocks high. Uh, right now it's already 1 block high because there's uh, sand from the, uh, uh, from the breadth sand pusher. Uh, so I want to build up 8 more blocks of sand. Uh, and uh, that means I'm going to need to pillar up five blocks uh, with uh, uh, with wood planks. So uh, effectively, uh, my maximum ocean depth uh, minus 27 is going to be how uh, how high I need to make a pillar of wood planks when I'm building uh, the uh, the depth sand pusher. Uh, so I'm going to start in this corner. I, uh, the um, uh, the breadth sand pusher was operated from here. Instead, I'm going to start in the opposite corner over here. And I want to count in uh, f uh, my four um, uh, my uh, four width wall. So there's one, two, three, four blocks, and I'm going to start my pillar on the fifth block there. So I'm going to pillar up five blocks. There's two, three, four, and five, and I'm going to put the dropper right on top. And now I'm going to come back with uh, three blocks uh, coming off of the dropper. There's one, two, three. And I'm going to put a block right on the middle there. A drop of redstone uh, goes um, uh, on the far block there, and I put another block on top of that drop of redstone. Then my repeater goes down, and this is going to be a faster clock, so I'm only going to put this repeater on two ticks. Uh, and uh, that means uh, with the redstone torch that I'm going to place right here, uh, I've got a 0.6 second clock. Two, tickets, two ticks for the repeater, one tick for the torch. Um, so that's three ticks on, three ticks off, so 0.6 seconds is going to be my clock. Uh, I don't want that clock to start yet, um, so I'm going to uh, make sure that uh, the redstone torch is not powered. 
Uh, but when I'm tearing this down, I don't want to lose this lever. I mean, levers are, are cheap, but I still don't want to lose it. Um, I'd rather lose a, a block of uh, wood planks. Uh, and so I'm going to put a, a block underneath that lever just to make sure it doesn't fall down when I'm retrieving stuff. Uh, and uh, now I want to build out the platform on which the pistons are going to go. Uh, to do that, I can build off the front of this redstone torch. I want to place a block right here. Um, eventually, I'm going to want to put a block on top of the redstone torch. I'm going to put a block on the front of the redstone torch, and it's going to appear right there. There we go. Okay, and I hop up on here, and now I can put that block on top of the redstone torch. My clock isn't going to start because the lever is shutting, uh, is powering it down. So I have uh, four pistons because uh, the wall needs to be four blocks thick. There's one, two, three, four blocks for the pistons. And we're going to come one more and angle it out here. And now I can uh, add my pistons uh, so that they are facing this direction. So I'm going to put one piston here and another piston here. And then I'm going to come up one more block. And this is the block against which I'm going to place my first sand. So I come over to this uh, inner piston, the one that's closer to the clock, and I'm going to put another block on top. And I'm going to extend that two, three blocks over. And then a line of redstone on those three blocks with another redstone completing the wire uh, down on top of the block next to the repeater. I okay. uh, come back down to my dropper, and from here I can place the other two pistons here and here so that they're pointing outward. Uh, and that is it. This machine is ready to go. Uh, now, before I came up here, uh, I uh, not only did I have all of the uh, all of the pieces from the Brett sand pusher, uh, but I also had a lot of leftover sand uh, from uh, dumping sand in this section. Uh, and I would have wanted to grab that sand uh, before um, uh, before coming up here because there's no way down. Uh, I didn't place any ladders or anything. I suppose I could try to jump in, uh, jump into the water um, if I really needed to get back down. Um, but uh, I, I'm just going to operate the. I'm going to build this, operate it, and tear it down uh, all in one swoop. Uh, so I brought everything up here that I needed with me. Uh, now the amount of sand that's going to get dumped in order to form this wall is n is not a whole lot. It's not nearly as much as is needed for the Brett sand pusher. Uh, so I don't even need to have a hopper. Uh, I'm just going to fill up this dropper, and that is uh, more than enough sand uh, to build out this wall. Uh, in in practice, I. Uh, I, although I really detest uh, uh, dumping sand, I can probably dump the sand in order to make this wall nine blocks high uh, faster than I can build this machine and tear it down. So I probably wouldn't do it. I'd probably just do it by hand. Um, but um, as I mentioned in the previous video, if you just really hate dumping sand, this is, <laughs> this is a way to get around it. So uh, I'm going to stand on top of my dropper, and I'm going to turn on the lever to switch the machine on. Uh, but I need to be a little bit careful about where I stand here. Uh, so I need to uh, be able to reach this block to, uh, to place sand against it. Uh, but if I'm too far over the side of the, uh, the, side of the dropper, the piston is going to push me off. Uh, so I, anywhere over the uh, uh, anywhere over kind of the black opening of the uh, dropper is okay. So if I can reach over here, I can kind of see the outline around that uh, block of wood plank, that far block of wood planks. Um, I, I can place sand against it, and as long as I'm still over the over the anywhere in this black area uh, of the uh, of the dropper, I'm good to go. So if I out here, no, nope, that that would push me off. Um, here, I'm okay. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this machine on. And it's spitting out sand. I better uh, grab it in, in my hotbar. And I'm just going to hit that far block. This machine is a lot faster than the uh, Brett sand pusher. Uh, so uh, it it's, uh, doesn't take nearly as long. Plus it's just not pushing as much sand. Uh, if um, this is the uh, sand wall, I'm, uh, <laughs> it's uh, actually um, uh, spitting out and placing it uh, faster than uh, faster than it can spit it out to me. Um, so this, uh, if the wall is eight blocks high and four blocks thick, uh, that's uh, 32 blocks um, uh, per kind of vertical slice uh, and times 13. Um, that's really not going to be uh, very many stacks. You know, you're talking about um, six and a half stacks of sand. 
uh, and um, and I'm placing that every 0.6 seconds, so this is going to go really fast. Uh, I, I'm still not going to wait for it. Um, I'll, I'll see you back in, in a minute uh, when this is done, uh, but uh, this is more or less how you would AFK this machine. I'll see, see you in a minute when this is all finished. Okay, already finished here. It was just a few minutes of AFKing. Uh, at this point, my machine is just spitting out sand at me, so I can go ahead and turn it off. Uh, now, um, I'm going to want to uh, tear down this machine, but before I do, uh, I'm going to place a couple of torches up on top of this wall. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, it's well lit up here, um, because uh, I just want to prevent mob spawning. Um, so I'm going to place a torch at either end. Uh, now this is uh, 13 blocks long. Um, I'm going to place a torch at either end, and I'm going to place one torch in the middle, so that means one, two, three, four, five blocks in, and should be five blocks from the other torch as well. Uh, this does mean that um, uh, wall uh, wall sections from successive sections of the cover, or adjacent sections of the cover, will have two torches right next to each other. Uh, that's fine, it just uh, serves as a convenient marker for where those, uh, uh, where those section breaks are. Uh, so that I can um, uh, so I can know when to uh, tear down the wall as as part of my uh, overall procedure, uh, and um, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I've got uh, I've got uh, quite a bit of sand dumped at this point. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the sand down here, uh, and that will reveal uh, any um, uh, water tanks that have been completed by my AFK sand dumping. Uh, and um, it's time to move on to the next step in the uh, procedure for clearing the section. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please leave a note in the comments.